given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear Hey sweetheart, it's me, Savvy Maggie. How are you guys today? Thanks for tuning in to Savvy TV. Just got up a little while ago. Oh man, I left my coffee. Uh hold on, I'll be right back. No, it's okay. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'll get it. I left my coffee. Oh my goodness. So I just wanted to come on and say good morning to you guys. Even though it may be afternoon when you see this. So good afternoon, my sweethearts. I am getting ready to um maybe go and watch a movie. <laughs> maybe go sit on the couch. And watch a movie. So I said, let me turn on. Excuse me, my camera. I don't do a lot of get ready, get ready's with me and stuff like that because I swear, the minute you turn on your camera, things just change up for me. <laughs> so things that normally work out perfectly, mm -mm, they don't do that when you have your camera on all the time. So yeah. Ooh. So how have you guys been holding up? Are you stir going stir crazy yet? I think I am. I'm trying not to. Oh, excuse me. I need to eat. I need to eat. I just um had a cup of coffee, but I need to eat. You guys, I keep these. These little spoolies. I buy packs and packs of them. I have to have them for like if I'm doing eyebrows and stuff at the salon. I keep them at home. Just for my basic grooming. But you can get like a hundred of them for a couple of dollars off Amazon or Wish. And they are definitely worth it. Even if you are not a makeup artist. You know, they're, they're just good for you. They're, they come in handy. Since you're always trying to, uh, well, I don't know. I like to keep my eyebrows going a certain way. That just looks so dark to me for some reason today. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not like I'm really doing too much or going anywhere or anything like that today. I'm not. I'm trying to decide if I feel like some eyeshadow. I haven't done eyeshadow in so long but since we are planning makeup I just may and I'm just using the wand for my concealer which I kind of normally don't under my brow but oh well why not right and I don't normally go over the top of my brow I don't know <laughs> What is going on with me right now? If I have indigestion or what this is. Mm, I forgot to um dampen a uh beauty wonder. That's what I forgot to do. But I will just spray one. Sorry, I'm looking for my um I'm looking for one of my real technique blenders, but I don't see the other one. This girl has used everything, and I just washed all my brushes. And I gave her like a little um, finger brushes to use. I gave her this one to use because I have like five of these up here full of brushes. I have collections. I love uh, Sonia Cashew. I love her brush collection. And so I just have tons of, tons, tons, tons. I have Chanel brushes. MAC brushes, BB, all kind of brushes, child. I got it all, okay? So, I guess I'm just going to use this, even though this is not my uh, blender that I normally like to use. Use this one under my brow bone here, and I'm just going to just press that in. 
And then I'm going to come on the end with the remainder that's in the fudge and just go on top. So, that's it. And that's it. Um, <laughs> as I'm talking and as I'm doing this video, I'm kind of, um, not feeling like doing it as much as I was. <laughs> and that's not nice to say, but it's the truth. So I'm like, do I feel like I shall? I don't think I do. Especially since I'm not really doing too much today. I think what I'm going to do is just what I, my normal little quick. This is why you don't let people play in your stuff. Look at my palette, y'all. Look at how dirty that is. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Where's my alcohol? I usually keep um, alcohol in a spray bottle just to spray my palette. Oh, mm -mm -mm. I'm not happy about that, though. I don't... Mm. And I asked her, I said, did you clean up after yourself? She said, yes. I came in the next morning. Because it was like probably about 4 o'clock in the morning, you guys. Our schedules are all just crazy. They're crazy, crazy. Like now I'm probably going to go and, here it is right here. I'm probably going to go and um, wake her up in a little bit because we've got to do some schoolwork. So I'm going to go into this Pure Palette. I don't even know the names of this stuff. The names of these shadows. And I'm just going to use this color right here. And I'm just going to put this on just to give a little color on top of my eye. I'm not doing shadows today. You see, I didn't even, um, I didn't even prime. I'm like, what the heck am I trying to say, y'all? I don't know. I didn't even prime, as you guys can see. I didn't even prime my eye. So I'm just using this. Yep. And then I'm going to come in here to this. Oh, I love this color so much. And I'm just going to come into the end. Same brush. Not even changing that brush up. I'm going to go into my crease a little bit with that. Come right back on the end. And just kind of use this as transition, the wing color. Just putting some color on my eye. That's all. Not much. Just giving it a little something. And then I'm going to come back in and just press just a little bit. Right there on the end, on the tip. Just pressing, just a little bit. This is pure palette that I absolutely love. It's the Pure Creator. Love this thing. Um, I haven't had it too long, I guess. And now I'm going to come into this, um, she's been at, look at this. I can tell because it's shadow all in it. I don't put my things away like this. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to clean that out a little bit. Yeah, now I'm a Virgo, right? So same little things just creep me out. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to come in with, this is the uh, subculture palette on the side there. I'm going to come in with fudge. Just right on the end. And the crease.
again, I'm going through that crease with that fudge. Coming into my V, going into my V with it. Just blending it out as well because I'm not doing shadows like that today. So I'm just kind of blending a few colors. Now I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to go into the Adorn in this same subculture palette right there. And I'm just going to press it. I'm just going to press it. So very subtle, nothing too crazy, very, not crazy, you know, I mean, if I wanted to get dramatic, I could, but I'm just saying very subtle, daytime, and then I'm just kind of blending that all together. Nice and natural. Don't look like I have one too much, which is what I'm going for. Um, and then I'm just going to highlight with this um, new wave right there. Yep. Right here. Just going to take that and I'm just going to just go in with the fluffy end of the brush. This is the brush that comes with the palette I'm actually using. And they see that I'm just kind of Going right across that bone, my brow bone, with that new wave. Then I just came in with a little bit of edge just to soften it up. Because actually, new wave is the color I would probably transition with normally. And this lets me know that I need to get back in and start playing with my makeup again, you guys. I haven't been doing my eyes. I really haven't. I just do. I've just been uh, just doing everything else, and I haven't really been doing my, my uh, I just found this in here. This was NYX Stay Matte Not Flat. This is the bomb powder. If you're looking for an inexpensive, like, drugstore powder, I think they have this at Ulta now. Yeah, they have NYX at Ulta. This is the bomb. This is the Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation in Cinnamon Spice. And as you can see, it is gone. I'm getting ready to toss it right now. No, I'm not going to toss it. I kept this to remember the color because I'm always forgetting the color. But I am going to purchase this again. Because I love that, especially to uh, travel with. I don't always like to take all of my makeup with me when I'm traveling. And as soon as this little band is over, I will be back to my life and, and traveling and, and getting back to normal. So I'm going to just, um, I'm all over the place, you guys. I didn't even put any primer on, but that's okay. I'm going to drop a few drops of this water weight from MAC and uh, NW47. Put a few of those on my Sonia Cashew brush. Tap, 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 tap. Make sure I get under my eyes. And then I'm just going to start blending it in. That's it. Come down on my neck. I do my ears, you guys. I like for my foundation to really blend in well and look like my skin. I don't like to look overdone. When I feel like like that big that cakey look, I'll do it. Don't get me wrong. But this is just the everyday. This is just daytime. This is really just the plan of my makeup, y'all. <laughs> this is really just plan of my makeup. Now, put that on because I kind of want that to melt into my skin.
that I'm going to get some lashes out. You know what? Do I have to do that? I'm going to take off the pair of lashes. I'm just going to trim them a little bit because they're too long. So I have to trim the end off a little bit. Today I'm going to clean my I'm cleaning my dining room. What have you guys been doing to keep busy? Yesterday I did a deep, deep cleaning on my living room. And today I'm going to do one on my dining room. I mean, I got rid of stuff that I just didn't need anymore. I'm even throwing out mirrors, y'all. I don't throw mirrors away. But I have some... I'll pick it up in a minute. I have some mirrors that came off like others or mirrors that I used to have for decor where's my that I had for decor in the house and um I uh changed it up, right? So I just keep stuff. I usually keep stuff like in my storage area or something like that. But I have this corner in my dining room that is just full of stuff. It's cluttered and it's driving me crazy because you know, a cluttered space is like a cluttered mind. And right now, uh-uh, I can't deal with it. So, this is a great opportunity to go ahead and get that corner that has been driving me crazy, cleared out. And the thing is, I haven't completed these projects yet. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw them out. And maybe someone else will come by and pick them up. And um, they'll be inspired to do something with the mirrors and stuff. Because... Like I said, I've had them for a while, and I haven't done anything with them, so it's just taking up space. So I'm just going to toss that stuff out today. Um, yeah. So that's it. Yesterday was the living room. This is what I do, y'all. Each day I do, like, a different room, okay? Something. If you're not, you know, if I'm not just doing, like, the general just clean up, sweep my floors, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. come back in and do um, another coat on my bottom lash. Where, you know what I can't find either? My um, lash applicator. I have a lash applicator and I cannot find that thing. I don't often need it because normally I can just stick my, eye, my lashes on but for some reason Look, see, here we go again. I don't know if it's the lashes, my eyes, or this glue. And I'm really thinking that it's the glue because for years, I've just used bond, I've just used bonding glue. And I have not had these problems. So, it has to be this glue. Got to be. And this is um, by Kiss. It's the Strip Lash Adhesive by Kiss. I'll spend that last one on y'all anyway, I think. Yes, y'all, I've been having some trouble putting my lashes on, and I do believe it's this dang on glue, and I'm pissed about it because I'm actually ruining lashes doing this. So I'm going to do my lashes off camera, y'all. Yes. And y'all seen me do my lashes before. You know I could just stick them bad, stick these bad boys right on my eyes. So it's got to be the glue. Which I hate because I don't have Oh! Look at that bull crap right there. <laughs> Sometimes, I'll tell you the truth, I just don't get it. Like, I'm pissed right now. This is why I don't want to do eyeshadow and all that stupid stuff. Ugh. 
this is oh man. This is what I was trying to do them off camera. I thought I had them back on, but oh well. It is what it is, well, ladies. It is what it is. Oh, look at this mess. I haven't even put on my dang on powder. Oh, my lord. I'm having a hard time with lashes this week. Not even just this day. It's this damn glue. I won't ever use it again. Oh, this stuff is... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have to try a different brand. I'm trying to get away from the bonding glue. I'm going to have to go back to... Uh, and I never really care for duo strip lash glue. So... Okay, we got lashes. Excuse the mess at the bottom. As soon as that dries, I'll roll that off. That won't be an issue. Okay, let me see. I'm so mad because I already put on liquid. That's just a mess. That's a damn mess. But this is not a makeup tutorial, okay? This is just a hang out with me, okay? And this is what I go through. Big old eyes. You guys, when I was younger, I was eyes and knees. My eyes were so big. I guess my body grew into them. I don't know. I still have big eyes, though. So. My eyes are so big that I really don't have to cut a lash. I can actually put the whole lash on my eye. Now, how many people do you know that you can actually stick the whole lash on the eye? I actually just cut them just to give it, just to customize it, just to actually have it go with the actual shape of my eye. All right. I think we got... We got most of that glue off, thank goodness. And I'm going to come in with this pure, excuse me, triple threat mascara. With this teeny tiny little wand. Well, we ain't coming through nowhere with this because this is dry, I think. Is it gone? Yeah. Just a little bit left in there. Ugh. So, that's getting caught. Let's go back with my Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Can you see this guy? Better Than Sex, Too Faced.
I have never lined, well, I don't. I have, and I don't like it. I don't line my whole eye, like from the corner across. I have a, I like to accentuate the shape of my eye, the slant of my eye. I like to accentuate that. So I've always just lined the outer corners of my eyes. And that's just my thing. This is how I've always done it. And I never really line the bottom part of my eye for some reason. Even though I love a bottom lash, a bottom lash is super sexy to me. I don't I've never I don't normally line the bottom of my eyes because my eyes can water. So and I make sure I don't go into the inner corners because if I do, my eyes are definitely going to water. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I do. No, I'm going to do a little something extra. Normally, I'm going to tell you guys, see how I just have on the liquid? I'll just go on with a little powder, probably a little C7 under my eye, and a little um, C8. And then, like, that's just my, my look. I'm done. Like, I'll be done with it. But today, I'm going to add a little concealer. Not much under my eye. And yeah, I could have. If I were really going to go out for the day and I wanted my makeup to be set, I would do it totally. I'm, I, I would do some things differently. But this is just a quick get ready with me. I'm going to have to do an actual, the way I do my makeup. Um, Like for the day like if I wanted it to like really stay stay and I wanted to have an extreme full coverage I would have set my my liquid with powder first before I even did this and I come under my contour just to highlight that contour just a little bit more so I come right there with it and this is um what is this what is this? I can't remember what or what number of concealer that is. Sorry guys. Can't remember it. And I am just going to this time I don't often do I don't always do either, but I'm gonna do it today for the sake of this video since I've invited you guys in. A lot of times I'll just use a little powder right here. I don't always do a cream as well. But I am today. I don't know what it is about the ears of your wig. Ah, oh, see that? Got a little, oop, that's okay. That's okay because you're going to blend it all together anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Made of it a boo boo. All right, and then I'm just going to take this sponge that I have dampened with my um, rose water. And I'm just going to blend it out. I'm just going to take this and just blend it all. Blend it all out. Look at that. And you're just going to blend it. <laughs> this seems like you're beating the crap out of yourself, doesn't it? And that's it. I don't go too crazy. Like, I'm not going too crazy with it today. I'm telling you, if I want to, like, beat, 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 I will beat it, baby. I can take it up. <laughs> But this is just 
a nice clean natural look this is just a handsome hue that's all this does okay so now got that blended in well This is all I do. I come in with my C7. C7. Take that shady sponge. And I just go right under my eye with that. And that's what I set with. I don't have to have that big halo effect. And I make faces for it to get in all those creases. And then I come into my <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, I gotta get a new um, contour kit because I'm hitting pan here. I come into my um, contour. I usually do this color or this color. And this is a Sonia Kashuk contouring brush. Put a lot on there because I'm going to blend it out. So. I'm coming under. I'm getting rid of that chin, huh? Gotta get rid of that thing for real. And then I'm just gonna come in. I'm actually let this sit for just a hot, hot second while I kind of clean these other things up. Throw the little tips of those lashes away. Then I like to uh, come in just to prime in the nose. I don't really like to change the shape of my nose too much. I love my nose. <laughs> and then I come on a darker color and just kind of. Now I do like to uh, maybe uh, narrow these nostrils out just a little bit because they are so big. I feel like you can just look up to see my brain sometimes. I love my nose. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to come in with my C8. Okay, I'm just dropping stuff. And I'm using this brush. God, I love this powder brush. I got this brush at like Icing or Claire's or one of those little stores. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a nice amount in there. As you guys see, I need a new, a new one. They were out the last time uh, my sister brought my, I ordered and she uh, picked this up for me. They didn't have any eight. You guys know she uh, works for Mac. She's a manager for Mac. And then I'm just going to come in and just blend this out. Yeah, so I'll order it and she'll just like pick it up for me. And then, still not done, still not done, a few more steps, even though this is a quick, easy, you know. I can actually, you guys, if I wasn't recording this, I would be done. I, this is like a 10, 12 minute thing, and I'm done. Whew. I just want to talk to you all. What y'all doing? Hmm? How was your Monday? Are you all back to work yet? What's going on? Because I'm still not working. I may go out here and get me one of these little jobs for y'all where everybody is hiring because I like money. I, I, I do. I'm not one of those folks that have been convinced that money is evil or money is bad for you because it is not. You need money to live and to do things in this world. And that's just how that is, okay? This is a blush trio. I'm going to go with, what do I want to wear? I think I'm just going to do Vegas because we're doing nice and neutral today. But I'm going to use this Chanel blush brush. Okay. And I'm just going to grab my little Vegas. Oh, yeah. Nice and subtle. See that? Didn't do much on the eyes, but it looks like I did. Nice and subtle. And then I'm going to go in with my... Oh, I'm going to use this palette. Or do I want to use... This is Elevation from Pure. And this is a highlighter palette. And that gorgeous, gorgeous highlights in there. And then this is um, Hyper Real Glow from MAC. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I could tell my child was in this as well. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my highlighter, my fan. I love this big fan. I actually ordered this, I think, from Wish or so for a dollar. I'm not going highlight crazy. I'm just in the house. Look at that, though. Boom. Look. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. I love being golden, y'all. I'm a golden child, okay? You're doing your makeup, your hair color, whatever. Always enhance your undertones. Okay? Ooh. I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling pretty. This is Fix Plus from Max. I do like um, Urban Decay's All Nighter as well. I love that stuff. I actually um, need to order some. It had been on back order. So I actually need to call and see uh, if it's back in. I think I will do a lip color for you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you guys are doing, okay? I've asked how you guys are doing. And I really love for you to leave me a comment down below and let me know how you guys are doing. What are you guys doing to um 
to uh, stay busy doing all this. Are you guys staying busy or are you just, just chilling? We've been chilling. You know what I do have to do and I admit that I'm not on enough is um, homeschooling. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not um, doing enough of the homeschool. I'm going back in with fudge. Here. Here. Under the eye a little bit. What's that? Yeah, so we have to get with um, school. And Paige and I have never worked well as far as her education. We never, we've never, we never worked well together. And um, I admit that. I commend her teachers. I love her teachers. I've always been really good to her teachers, gifting them. And I have an only daughter. And she has always... Don't get me wrong, she's a very good kid. But her schoolwork has always been a challenge for us. As far as us doing it together. This is just a, um, I think a rich brown. I don't even know anymore. You see how small that pencil is. I've had it for so long. This is actually a matte um, lipstick from, who is this? From, I think Ruby Kisses. This is a Ruby Kiss, right? Is this Ruby Kisses? Is it on the bottom? Yeah, I think this is Ruby Kisses. It's so old, you guys. I've had it for a while. Still smells good, though. It's not bad. I just spray it with a little alcohol, honey, and keep it going. And then I'm going to take this NYX lip pencil in Mauve. that just to lighten that brown liner up and then this is just what I do I come back in with the brown again and I go on top of the moss especially here in the corner just to Tone the pink down from the moth. Yep, and that's it. Now I am done. Ooh, I'm going to try to stay my butt in this house today because I don't have anything to go outside for. I really don't. I don't need anything. I don't need a chip for sure. I need to have my butt in here working out or something. I'm good. If I did have somewhere to go, I could just go ahead and go on out. Don't you think? What you guys think? What you think? Hmm. I'm so ready to get back out of the house. And you guys know I love being in the house, but I'm actually ready to go outside, okay? And it's not that I have anything to do. I just want that freedom of going outside and not having to, like, gear up to go out. But the thing is, how long is it going to be before that? Because I'm a little paranoid. Like, if they were to say May 30th, like, oh, it's basically contained. You guys can go out and just go back to your normal lives. I'm going to be honest with y'all. May 30th, I don't know if I'm doing that. I don't know if I'm still just running out without a mask on and stuff. I'm probably going to have a mask on forever outside. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. What you think? Are y'all just going to be ready to run out there if they say May 30th? Are you just going to run out like it's nothing like we weren't just quarantined for two months? I don't know. I don't think I am. 
I think, you know, I'm going to get out, of course, and I'm going to enjoy the summer, and I'm going to go see family and friends, but I'm going to have on a mask because uh, this stuff is not over. I'm sorry, but it's not, especially if, you know, I don't even get a flu shot, y'all, so I know I'm damn sure not getting a COVID vaccination. That's some bull. They can forget that one with me. If I just have to perish, that's what I'll do because I'm not um, – doing that nobody has ever i've known that my whole life that i'm never having um a microchip implanted in my skin see i read i don't know about y'all i don't just look at everything that everybody posts on instagram and all social media i read so eugenics is nothing new to me this has been around forever world uh current one world currency has been around forever nothing is new there's nothing new under the sun okay and that's just how it is So, um, yeah, so I don't want to uh, take any vaccines or anything. I'm just going to keep on doing the things that I've been doing that have kept me healthy for years. Like, we're still trying to figure out where these damn blood clots came from in me because I don't have issues that, like, like the medical issues that a lot of other people have. Like, I have... Um, been taking like I have hypertension pre-hypertension okay I've had that for years and a lot of that comes from it was from my weight but it's also from my stress level because you know like I told you guys I've always dealt with like anxiety issues but I always kept it inward but that can be really stressful but my age and my lifestyle didn't uh ward for um blood clots so we were still trying to figure out what you said blood clots came from it within me okay um, but yeah, anyway, I'm not taking a vaccine. That's not happening. So, um, nor will my daughter. So it is what it is for us, but we'll just stay protected and continue to sanitize. This, this is what we do anyway. Like I keep my house clean. I bleach my house down. I disinfect my house. I sanitize my house. Um, at work, I'm constantly sanitizing behind each client. Um, people have always talked about like the amount of, of, of implements I have like at work like I have so many combs so many brushes so many clips all that kind of stuff because I have a lot of clients so I never wanted to like have to stop and go and take care of the implements and then come back I've just always had enough to keep going through the day if a comb falls on the floor I can just kind of push it to the side until I sweep up pick that up throw that where my dirty can my dirty um implements are I don't have to to stop and wash each comb because I only have that one comb or those two combs no I have tons of that stuff so um, I've always been very um, um, clean as far as my work goes. You know, I've always used neck strips for my clients. We've always, I've always um, used towels and neck strips as far as the shampoo. So the capes and the um, the necks of capes have never really gotten on, you know, touched them. And I actually disinfect, spray each cape after each person. So I've always done that kind of stuff anyway. So, um that's just normal life for me. But I do think that once we get out, y'all, I'm still going to have a mask. I'm sorry. Y'all going to be like, look at her. She's still walking around with a mask. Yep, and gloves. And so, if it happened once, it'll happen again, y'all. Don't even try it. Just looking like chicken pox and measles and all that kind of stuff came back. Yeah, it was maybe 20, 40 years before it did, but it did. You know, we didn't think that. Um, it, and actually, it wasn't even 20, 40 years because... I had measles as a child. I had the vaccination, and now measles is back out again. People are getting, uh, what's that stuff? Um, shingles from chicken pox and all that. Girl, come on now. Mm -mm. Let me see if I turn this light off. Well, that helped me. Nope, we're going to go back in the light. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. But, um, yeah, so... Thanks for spending the time with me, spending some time with me while I put my makeup on and, um, oh, excuse me, y'all, I'm hungry. I need to go and get some food, huh? I need to get down in this kitchen and see what it is to cook. I took some chicken out last night, so maybe, I, ooh, I think I'm going to fry some chicken. I think I might go and fry me a few pieces of chicken. Let me tell you something. These people in my house sleep all day and then they wake up and expect a meal. It ain't happening. And I know I've been neglecting. I haven't been cooking like that. I've just been kind of letting them cook when they, for themselves when they get up. And then at the same time, I'm chilling too. Sure. 
We were all up last night, though. We were all up last night. I didn't get up this morning. I got up probably about 7 something. I didn't even... I didn't even go to sleep, though, until, like, 5. So I got up about 7. Um, walked around the house, all that good stuff. And I went back and laid back down about 9. And I got up at 11 o'clock, y'all. I woke up, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I was sleeping so good. What am I still doing to sleep? And then all of a sudden, I heard the thunder. It was raining. That's why I was sleeping so good. Oh, my gosh. I sleep so well in the rain. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I love to take a nap while it's raining. It's like the best, most peaceful, tranquil sleep you can ever have. Mm -mm -mm. It's still raining, and I'm trying to fight this sleep, y'all, because I need to go to bed at a regular time so I can be up. And I kind of do enjoy um, being kind of like, it's almost like I'm home alone, you know, because they're asleep during the day. And then they're up at night. So I still have that, um, you know, that peace, that, that, that time alone. I still get to be in, walk around my house and pray and meditate and all that good stuff. It's a full moon tonight, you guys. Are you prepared for it? Have you wrote down your um, wishes and desires, the things that you're trying to manifest? Have you written them down? Have you written down the things that you want to um get rid of in this new cycle a new moon is a new cycle if you didn't know so if you got some things that you want to you know get rid of if you want to change some things about yourself or in your life today is a great day to affirm that to say that you know today is the day I, I, I let go of procrastination today is the day I I say I'm going to put 110% into my YouTube channel I'm going to treat this as though it is another job for me. It is an income. It is my career. Today I affirm this, you know. Those are the type of things that you do. Maybe a couple of days before or even the day of the full moon. But anyway, you guys, I'm not going to hold you. I do appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you stay to the end, please go down in the comments and leave me a thumbs up if you, if you stay to the end of the video. Just so I can know. Who's rocking with your girl for real, for real, for real. But I love you guys for real. I thank you for tuning in to Savvy TV. And I will see you guys in another video. Guess what? It's going to be really, really soon. Alright, bye-bye. Given that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be.